Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Mission Go and Minnesota team transport human pancreas via UAS. Also, DJI augments education roster with RoboMaster Tello Talent Drone and Lilium intent on establishing airline operations in Europe. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned program, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned in partnership with AVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. Hi, I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Let's go ahead and begin this episode with our top story. Mission Go, Life Source, and Mercy Hospital have conducted what they report to be the first ever test flight carrying a human pancreas via an UAS conducted on May 5th. Following a moment of silence led by lead pilot Ryan Henderson to honor the donor hero, this flight transported a research pancreas from Mercy Hospital in Coon Rapids, flew a 10-mile circuit over the Mississippi River, then returned to Mercy Hospital. This flight successfully demonstrated the viability, value, efficiency gains, and delivery speed of life-saving organs via UAS within the Twin Cities metro area. The pancreas was also monitored for the entire flight using Medigo's hardware and software platform to provide the real-time location status of the organ to all critical stakeholders. A biopsy was performed by LifeSource on the pancreas before and after the flight to study the impact of UAS transportation on a human organ, revealing no changes in pre- and post-flight biopsies. In addition to the organ payload being tracked with Medigo, Mission Go's aircraft was monitored by Alice Pro's new flight data recorder known as the Alaris Air, which provides flight telemetry data through both cellular and Bluetooth networks. More news after the break. Aviation Safety Resources is disrupting the market for aircraft emergency parachute recovery systems. ASR systems are smaller, lighter weight, and offer longer repack cycles than similar products available in the current market. ASR has a recovery system available for every type of aircraft. Sport, experimental, light sport, general aviation, urban air mobility, vertical takeoff and landing, electric propulsion, and unmanned aerial systems. Find the right product for your aircraft at aviationsafetyresources.com. I believe that if people use the landing doctor training program, they will have less accidents and eventually their insurance will go down and they will make a superior pilot. We do personal limitation checklists, which is the most important reason you need to fly with limits. We do ground proximity awareness training, and we do this with a crosswind. We've been operating six Bristels for two years without one insurance claim. The Landing Doctor program is working, and you're going to hear more about it. Are you ready to ace your FAA drone pilot knowledge test, get your remote pilot certificate, and start earning money? Well, flying a drone is a great tool that can open up new business opportunities for anyone. Realtor, insurance adjuster, videographer, or commercial weekend drone warrior, you need to fly legally. Whether you're pursuing your initial Part 107 remote pilot certificate, or you need a renewal, King Schools has a course just for you. So start learning today at kingschools.com. Welcome back. In the next Unmanned Minute, let's take a brief look at a few of the shorter stories that are making the rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. The FBI has gone public with a search of a drone that seems to have created a hazard while flying near a CBP helicopter. The Federal Bureau of Investigation reports that they are seeking to identify the person or persons responsible for illegally flying a drone near a U.S. Customs and Border Protection helicopter. On February 9, 2021, at around 10.30 p.m., employees of CBP informed the Tucson Police Department that a drone was flying dangerously close to their helicopter. The rocket business can be hard. On May 15th, Rocket Lab experienced an anomaly almost three minutes into the company's 20th Electron launch. Following a successful liftoff from Launch Complex 1, Electron proceeded through a nominal first stage engine burn, stage separation, and stage 2 ignition. Shortly after the second stage ignition, the engine shut down, resulting in the loss of the mission. The first stage safely completed a successful splashdown under parachute as planned, and Rocket Lab's recovery team retrieved the stage from the ocean. 
The NTSB has proposed amending the definition of unmanned aircraft accident by removing the weight-based requirement and replacing it with an airworthiness certificate or airworthiness approval requirement. They believe that the weight threshold is no longer an appropriate criterion because unmanned aircraft systems under 300 pounds are operating in high-risk environments, such as beyond line of sight and overpopulated areas. Be sure to mark your calendars. There will be a real live AUVSI Expo event in Atlanta, where you can show up in person and see the world of unmanned technology for yourself. The in-person event will take place from August 16th until the 19th at the Georgia World Congress Center in Atlanta, Georgia. The event will take place in Building C of the GWCC. ANN will be there. That was our Unmanned Minute. Now back to the rest of the news. DJI has added RoboMaster TT Telotalent to the newly established DJI Education Division, adding a plethora of powerful capabilities to its predecessor, the Tello EDU. The RoboMaster TT includes everything popular about the Tello EDU with a new extension board to allow even more AI applications, added powerful hardware, including an open source computing ESP32 chip, RGB256 old color LED light, DOT matrix screen, and a TOF sensor, along with a new swarming software for one-click seamless swarming capabilities with increased stability. The TT aims to lower the barrier of entry into robotics and AI technology through a fun toy drone, user-friendly, intuitive app, and an exclusive curriculum system for students of all levels. Name the TeleTalent to enhance and amplify students' talents and skills in robotics. The TT is equipped with a powerful ESP32 microcontroller board to provide Arduino and MicroPython open source coding platforms that supports Arduino, MicroPython, and Scratch offline coding. Students can see their coding come to life by writing custom codes to enhance the colors and flash frequency of the TT's programmable RGB256 old color LED light or create simple shapes, animations, and letter scrolling effects on the 8x8 red and blue LED dot matrix screen fitted on the TT. Our last top story of the episode coming up after these messages. In Diamond Aircraft, innovation is in our DNA. Whether you're taking to the skies for training or business travel, every aircraft in Diamond's lineup features innovative technology, an industry-leading safety record, superior performance and efficiency, and a comfortable flying experience. No other company has pioneered as many aviation firsts, achieved more milestones, or received the same amount of industry praise as Diamond. Discover why Diamond Aircraft is one of the most trusted manufacturers in aviation at diamondaircraft.com. When adventure is calling, the Bori by Aero Volga is the plane you need to answer the call. Bori's composite design is simple, reliable, and economical, with impressive performance and no gimmicks. Designed for the wilderness and proven durability in a flight around the Arctic Circle, the Bori has what it takes to handle your next adventure. Featuring two large cargo compartments, a comfortable modern cockpit, and a Rotax 912 power plant, the Bori Amphibian is now available in Canada. Experience the Bori for yourself at FlightSimple.com. Whether you're charting a steady course or pushing for the ceiling, Hartzell Propeller has been elevating flight for over 100 years. It's in our passion for engineering and research. It's in our dedication to testing the limits of performance and creating propellers that are as safe as they are sexy. Now, together with our dedicated family of companies, we're propelling the future of aviation. We are Hartzell Propeller, built on honor. Welcome back. This is our last top story of the show. Lilium and Lux Aviation Group have announced plans to support Lilium in building out airline operations in Europe. The parties anticipate Lux Aviation Group will become responsible for parts of the airline operations being developed by Lilium. This includes securing necessary approvals and managing pilots, which will be trained following a type rating concept developed by Lufthansa Aviation Training. As Lilium continues developing its launch networks in Europe for the planned commercial launch in 2024, 
Lux Aviation Group will also work with Lilium on the development of its customer experience. Built around Lilium's digital airline platform and the seven-seater Lilium Jet, we are proud to be working alongside Lux Aviation Group, a leading operator in the aviation sector with a track record in offering an innovative and customer-focused service to build out the Lilium network in Europe. This marks a key milestone as we prepare for launch, and we look forward to working together to provide an exceptional airline service for our passengers, explains Remo Gerber, Chief Operating Officer at Lilium. Patrick Hansen, Group CEO at Lux Aviation Group, said, Electric vertical takeoff and landing aircraft will fundamentally change the way we travel, and the Lilium network is poised to be at the forefront of the sea change in aviation. Well, that does it for our show today. Thank you for joining us. I'm your host, Kimberly Kay. Make sure to follow our YouTube channel and you can catch episodes of Airborne on Roku and Fire TV too. We hope to enjoy the show. We'll see you next time.